Now, as the saying goes, age is just a number, and it certainly is for Dame Joan Collins, who says asking a woman's age is tremendously rude and simply shouldn't be discussed at all. Well, so is it rude or actually something to be proud of? We're joined now by the broadcaster Anna May Mangan, uh, who says it's not rude to ask. You were nodding your head when we said the word proud. Uh, and etiquette expert Diana Mather, who thinks you should never ask anyone, male or female, explain. Well, I think, you know, <laughs> age is a personal thing. And as an etiquette expert, the whole thing is you never make anyone feel uncomfortable. Right. And a lot of people do feel uncomfortable when... Uh, and especially, it's... For women, age can still put you in a box. And if they haven't seen you, they look sort of, oh, she's, oh, I don't know, even 57. Oh, she's probably far too old for the job, so we'll go for somebody else. Now, they're not allowed to say that these days, but age can still put you in a box. Having said that, I love every decade that I've lived in and, so, and can, will continue to do so. But my age is, is my business. Is it? Mm. <laughs> but isn't that, isn't that the problem, uh, though, uh, Anna? I, I, first of all, I want to say I agree with you wholly about, about manners. You know, and um, really, Anna, Diana's not wrong. I mean, there's that line, you know, there are three ages in Hollywood, babe, uh, district attorney and yeah. driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> okay. I think it's a, and so to that extent, where women are concerned, rightly and justifiably, that there's going to be limits on the jobs they can do, there's ageism towards women. Yeah, you know, dating, just, uh, if or, you're... Or, or, right, yeah, there's, there's a reason why they won't want to, for want of a better way of putting it, keep shtum about it. But, Rob, what you're doing is linking age with looks. And that's what women feel they have to do. They have to be ashamed of their age. They have to hide their age. They're worried they won't get jobs. They're worried they'll be judged. It's about vanity. And let's face it, if you ask somebody their age, you're not asking, have they got hemorrhoids? You're actually saying, what's your age? It's a matter of public record. It's not rude. They can say no. It's absolutely fine. But for someone like me, who's had cancer twice and survived cancer yes. twice, every yeah. day is a celebration. I want to live to 110, please, and celebrate every single day. And I think women are too tied up and judged on their looks and being young, fillers, everything. And it's not about that. It's being healthy, it's being happy, and it's being well-adjusted about your age. I absolutely agree, being healthy. Because that's the other thing, though. If you look at somebody's age, she won't have the energy. Now, yes. we do. I mean, I'm older than you. And we do have our energy, don't we? But if I actually put my age going for a job, people say, good God, no. Well, yeah. talking of which, Maverine, you worked with Joan Collins, didn't you? Yeah, Dame Joan is fantastic. I mean, I was lucky enough to work with her when she was launching her first ever beauty line when she was 80. And I mean, if that isn't a woman this who... This was on QVC, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was on the very famous shopping channel. Indeed. Incredible. All of her lipsticks were named after <laughs> characters from um, <laughs> Dynasty. Dynasty. Yeah, it was fantastic. <laughs> but talking about energy, would you have been able to tell how old she was if we, we, we sort of... In fact, I don't quite know how old she really well, why is. Why should we be guessing? I think yeah. is your point. Why does point. it matter? Does it matter? No, who does it to men? Men are silver foxes. Exactly. Right. Men, exactly. men are... Uh, George yeah. Clooney is right. what rugged and uh, yes. as men age well, women don't. And it's men who are normally judging women. Right. And other women want to see older uh, women on the screen. Can I pull you up on that? It, I, I'm not sure you're 100% right about it. There's a bit of Stockholm Syndrome going on here. <laughs> it's actually mostly <laughs> my girlfriend, mostly other women judging other women as well. Well, unfortunately, no. when it comes to employment, yes. it's often men. Who are choosing oh, that's to be visual. sure, and I'm with yeah. you on that. And just yeah. to be clear, there are uh, laws which uh, are not uh, uh, sufficiently enforced. Diana, can I ask you this? Is it a state of mind that matters? I think you might agree on this. You know, Diana Vreeland, a real hero of mine, you know, the eighth brilliant editor of Vogue from the last century, she said, how old will you be when you die? She said, I don't know, I'm young. How young? I don't know, 80, 90, but I shall be very young. Isn't that really the, the quintessence Absolutely. of it yeah. all? My uncle lived at 105 and a half, and he was <laughs> lived on his own until he was 105. And I intend to do exactly that. But somebody said to me the other day, um, you, I was doing a, doing a concert, you've been rushing around, everywhere. how old are you? 45? I said, no, <laughs> he wasn't meaning that seriously. But if I'd said how old I was, then I think he'd have been, wow. Now, I don't want people to say, wow, I want them me to accept me how yeah. I am yeah, therefore, regardless declare, of age. Yeah, declare your age. It's not a taboo subject. Well, you get lots of discounts for being old. <laughs> but, <laughs> why is not women travel, pleased? I, don't, I mean, you know, when, when people come up to my mum, we were out uh, not long ago and the person thought my mum was my sister. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't say anything like, mum, it's time for you to stop having work done. She said, no, it's time for you to start. That never <laughs> happened. <laughs> um, but most women I know are really delighted by, oh, I look younger, you know, I'm 30 yeah, well, plus. Well, that's not, they have to that... say that. Look, I went grey when I was 18, stopped dying 
I in when I had chemotherapy and my hair came out and then I let it yes. go back grey. And I don't care now. And I think women would look younger and feel younger if they liberated themselves from this nonsense about having to look younger. But the thing is, Jane, Jane Collins says here, she says, my mother's generation never did it. But, you know, people have been calling me an older woman mm. since I was 38. That is Joan mm. Collins' experience that people... And she has a younger partner, doesn't she, Percy? Good for her. Mm. Um, she kind of I... trades on her age as well. Would anybody inter be as interested in her if she wasn't 89? No, I think um, she's, she's doing. She, yeah, she's, she is fabulous, but part of that is being 89. If that was a secret and everyone thought she was 65, would we care as much? Well, good um, manners demands that I say thank you very much, And, Diana, Diana happy birthday, whatever and it is. Birthday. Oh, oh birthday. thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> do you, how many candles do you... Do you, or do you Say to the family, no, ca like just one candle. Well, I think it would take quite a lot of candles right, to yeah. fill my cake. Mm -hmm. Fine, yeah. 64 yeah. and a fire extinguisher for me. Uh, <laughs> thank you, both of you. <laughs>